Welcome to Unshakable with Human Design, the show dedicated to helping entrepreneurs use human design to shift from hustle to flow without sacrificing results. Come here to become an unshakable human and build an unshakable business according to your human design. I'm your host, Nicole Lano. Hello and welcome everyone to Unshakable with Human Design. I'm your host, Nicole Lano, and we are kicking off a new month here. So we are doing our famous transit episode with you today. Unfortunately, Christina Luna, who is normally here with us, our resident astrologer who is kind enough to come in here every month and do these episodes with me, couldn't make it this month. She actually, at the last minute, lost her voice. So I'm flying solo today. I hope you don't mind. She will certainly be missed because I really do enjoy her perspective. And I think that it adds a really beautiful element and makes these episodes extra special for you guys. And I'm so sorry that she couldn't be here, but hopefully she will be better and back with us next month for the May transits. But I've got you. Don't you worry. We're going to cover everything from the human design perspective. Of course, we have the eclipse coming up, which I will touch on. That definitely falls more under Christina's umbrella, but I am going to speak about it a little bit and talk about it through the human design lens. So we'll be sharing a little bit about that with you. Before we start, I do want to let you guys know, if you are a fan of this show, If you have been listening for a while, if you are building a business and you'd like to incorporate human design into that business and into your life, I am going to be hosting a masterclass. This is actually a upgraded version of the one that we did in January. It's called the Authority Accelerator in HD Masterclass. It's all about crafting your million dollar message using your human design. So blending energy with strategy. We're going to be teaching that. That is a free masterclass. It is five days. I have a lot planned for you. I'm going to take you through my entire framework that I take my clients through in my business by design mentorship. I'm going to take you through the whole process. I'm going to show you the missing link that I notice with human design and business. Most people are teaching human design and they're not showing you how to connect it through your message, through your authority platform, as I call it, through your messaging, through the content that you put out and the offers that you create. How do we bring all of these things together? And what we hope to do is make them uniquely you and position you as a unique expert in your field. So we're going to show you how to do all of that over that free masterclass. All you have to do is go to Instagram and DM me the word masterclass, and we will register you right then and there. Or if you want to just go directly to the website, you can do that at nicolelano.com forward slash masterclass, and we'll get you registered right there on the website. All right. Let's kick off this transit call, shall we? So we are going into April. It's hard to believe that we are already at April 2024, but here we are. And we're going to kick this month off with a bang. We're kicking this month off in gate 21, which sits in the ego center. And so we're starting this month off with the theme of control. Gate 21 can really like to control things. There's a lot of action behind gate 21. It likes to go after and take care of its own survival, but not just for itself for everybody around it. The lesson with this one is going to be that you can't control everything. So a question you might want to be asking yourself is, where am I trying to control or where do I need to let go of control? So this month has a theme to me of action, of taking some risks, taking some chances, and also leaning back into trust and needing to not pull back so much, but Can you be patient in the moments between? And that's a theme that I see with this month. Now, Gate 21 transits with us until the 4th of April. And once we are at the 4th of April, then we shift over into Gate 51, which is also an ego-centered gate, only this one is individual in nature. This is about you. This isn't about anybody else. And the thing that's really interesting about this is this is the gate that we will be in for the solar eclipse, which happens on April 8th, right in the middle of the day. I live in Texas, so it's a big deal here because we are in the direct path of the eclipse. So lots of people are coming to central Texas where I live in Austin, and they're coming to view the eclipse. So we're very excited about it. My kid's school is doing all sorts of things. And solar eclipses, again, I am not an expert in this. So I'm going to stay in my lane and stay in the human design realm, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about Solar eclipses, they coincide with the new moon. New moon's about 
new beginnings. And when we have an eclipse, what that really means is you're getting that new moon energy of new beginnings only times 10. It's like a really amplified version of that. And it's coming on the heels of the lunar eclipse, which we just ended at the time of this recording on the 25th of March. There was the lunar eclipse, which coincides with the full moon, which is about ending things, which is about closing of chapters. So we have this closing and then we have this opening of this new beginning kicking off on April 8th. So they're in the gate of shock. They're in this gate 51, which is the gate of shock, which is about you, which is about your personal experience. Gate 51 is about initiation. It's about bravery. It is about taking risks. It is the ultimate risk taker in the human design chart. And gate 51, if you look at the other side of it, and what I mean by the other side of it, so the eclipse, the sun is in Aries. So we're looking at Aries. 51 sits in Aries. Gate 51 sits in Aries. On the other side of it, we're looking at gate 57, which is in Libra. Gate 57 is the gate of intuition. It is the gate of just knowing and trusting. It is the overall gate of trust. So if you think about that these shocks, this initiating energy, this bravery, this courage is balanced by trusting in your intuition, trusting yourself. And so that is the theme that second week of the month there might be an internal push-pull of that feeling of, I want to go, but maybe not trusting yourself. And it's going to be about you really tuning into your intuition and taking the leaps and feeling brave and going first, which is the theme of Gate 51 of going first, is really going to be about trusting your intuition, really digging deep and saying, I'm going to take risks on the things that I really believe in. What we learn from Gate 57 is you have to walk through the fear of the unknown to get to your future, to get to and connect to your highest self and the highest expression of your purpose here on this planet. You have to walk through the fear. You have to be courageous and brave. So we're being called to that in that second week of April. What is this next phase for me? So we have this opening of that new moon with the solar eclipse that's calling us to something bigger, calling us to this new beginning. And with gate 51, the human design element of that is really having the courage to initiate something new. So that's what we're going through at that first half of the month and then shifting into gate 42 where what you might be feeling around that 11th of the month through tax day is this is the gate of increase and growth. It's in the sacral center. And really what this gate is about is closing cycles. It is about seeing things through to the end. Growth comes by seeing things through to the end, having the courage to finish. So we're initiating. And then it's, can I see this all the way through? Can I commit to this cycle? Can I commit my energy to sustain it until this cycle has its natural closing time? Can I commit to my own growth? 42 wants growth. 42 is always striving for something bigger. So I feel this call to initiating something. That whole first half of the month is about taking charge. It's about saying, I want this. I'm going after it. I have the courage to initiate it, and I'm going to see it through to its completion. I'm going to commit to my own growth. What do I need to commit to? What do I need to do internally to ensure my own growth so that I see things through? What do I need to let go of so that I can see this through all the way to the end? Now, when we move on from here, we have this shift. Now we're shifting into Taurus. So we're coming out of Aries energy once we hit the 21st of the month. And we're still in the sacral center. So I always like to look at what centers these gates sit in because it tells us the overall energy of it. We are very motorized this month. There is a lot of action this month. There is a lot of doing and it's coming from different places. So if we're in the ego center, the ego center is about support, is about drive, is about determination. So that's that first half of the month has very much drive and determination behind it. And then we shift into, well, now you've got to love to do it because we're in the sacral now. 
And it's got to be in response. And it has to be something that we care about. Something that turns us on. The work itself. Now, when we start to come into that second half of the month and we shift over the 16th through the 21st, we are in this gate three energy, which sits also in the sacral center. And this is a gate of limitation. It's, this is about engaging in your own individual creativity. And we can't be creative all the time. You can't be creative 24-7. Creativity requires space. Creativity requires patience. So with all this growth and with all this ego energy, the push, push, push of the beginning of the month, we think things are happening. You may see a lull. You may see a pause that's required. You may feel that. And there might be all of that energy from the beginning of the month that makes you question whether pausing is right. Or you might be wondering, why do I feel like I'm slowing down? Why do I feel like things were moving and now they're not? They are moving. You're in a moment in between, potentially. So if that happens to you, if you experience that, can you engage with your creativity? Can you notice and respect the fact that flowers don't bloom all the time? The petals fall and then a new bud grows. And that is what this energy is. It's trusting that the new bud will grow even after the petals have just fallen off. And can you create some order here in that time? So if there's not doing, can you clean some stuff up instead? Because that is a great way to use this energy, to harness this energy. And then the end of the month, we come to different energies here where after the 22nd, we're getting a little bit more contemplative the gate that we're going into for human design is gate 27, which is the gate of caring, which is about family, which is about our relationships, which is about taking care of and nurturing others, nurturing our relationships. So again, it's going to be this shift from probably very work-centered energy, very ego-centered, going after what we want, and then shifting into these subtler energies that are more contemplative maybe more tidying things up, maybe paying attention to our relationships and where they need to be nurtured, and or maybe where you need to nurture yourself. Where are your relationships not serving you? Where are you allowing yourself maybe to be taken advantage of? Where are you overgiving? Big shadow of overgiving with this gate, which what a beautiful thing to do. I give too much, but then you sacrifice yourself. So with all of those things you're initiating, with all of those plans that you're making, all of your commitment to growth, are your relationships supporting this cycle that you are starting, that you committed to at the beginning of the month? And then we close out the month in a really beautiful gate, gate 24, which is the gate of rationalization. And the gate of rationalization really tunes us into our internal knowing, that internal trust. I know just because I know. You don't need to explain it. So again, we come back to this theme of trust and intuition, of just knowing something, that tuning in. We've had all of that energy that faced out. Now, can you turn it back inward and say, where am I not taking care of myself? Where am I not prioritizing the relationships that mean something to me? Where am I not trusting what I know? Where am I not trusting a higher calling that I have? And I don't need to explain it. And it doesn't need to be rationalized for anybody. I just need to trust myself. I just need to know that if it makes sense to me, that's enough. I don't have to explain the things that I feel called to. There's that ultimate trust there. You want to have a little bit of strength behind that. You want to really trust in it. Don't fake it till you make it. Really tune into what would help me trust what I know more. What am I not wanting to admit to anyone, but I know it deep in my heart? How is that driving me? And how can I honor that more? So those are our transits for the month of April. This is a month of action 
And then maybe some introspection during the second half of the month. Introspection, pulling more inward, being a little bit more contemplative, calling us to maybe a new path to growth. One where relationships that don't serve us fall away and we let go of them. One where we commit to new paths for ourselves just because we feel intuitively called to to commit to our own growth. All of these themes, I think that this can be a really expansive month for everyone, particularly if you are an Aries or a Taurus. This is your month. It's your time to shine. So how can you feel yourself be seen here? Another question that I have for you is with the solar eclipse, the sun is about who we are. It's about the light we're here to shine, the way that you see yourself and the light that you are here to shine, how does that either need to change or how do you need to strengthen it and feel more trusting in who you are and in putting who you are out in the world? So that's just a question for you to contemplate. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you would like to join us for the Authority Accelerator in HD Masterclass, please do. We start on April 8th. You will be done before the eclipse. We are certainly going to have you out of here by then. All you have to do is DM me the word masterclass on Instagram. I am at Nicole Lano official, or you can go to NicoleLano.com forward slash masterclass and you can register right there on our website. Thank you so much for being here. I love these episodes with you. Hopefully, Christina will be back with us next month so you can benefit from her wisdom all about her beautiful poetic way of putting the transits astrologically to words for us. Thank you so much for being here. And remember, in order to have an unshakable business, you must first become an unshakable human. So thanks for letting us help you on your journey of becoming unshakable with human design, everyone. We will see you next time. If you love this episode and you're a fan of the show, please show us the love on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you're listening to the show and leave us a review. And if you'd like to connect with other entrepreneurs on their human design journey, join our free Facebook community, Human Design for Entrepreneurs. Go to nicolelano.me forward slash podcast links to join the group, book a human design reading with me, or access our free human design resources. We'll see you there.